Our lecture today is SCI song for ever since saint is a cult hero worship song. Now, the reason that I get into this subject is because on February the 28th, that's about a couple of months ago, a young lady from Chicago who goes to Chicago Temple emailed me and she had a concern about the SGI song Forever Sensei. Now, let's get to tell you about it. This young woman wrote, she says, quote, I have never felt connected to the church. Let's just say I never caught the Holy Ghost. I knew that I was something other than a Christian. Over the past year, my channel has become stronger and full of enrichment. I hope that I can get my gohans on soon, but I'm not so sure that I want to get it with the SGI. I attended meetings, go to the SGI Center in Chicago, and even meet up with some of the individuals at the Joliet District. That's in Joliet, Illinois. However, I feel as if they praise the president a little too much for me. All we seem to study is predicators' teachings and writings. Excuse me if I'm being rude, but I would like to see someone who looks like me. There is just a feeling that is coming over me that SJI may not be the place. A service came to a beautiful end one Sunday morning. The message was positive. I felt inspired. Then a leader made me take a few steps back. All the youth under the age of 35, this young lady is 28 years old, was asked to come to the stage and sing the song Forever Sensei. I refused, and this leader got angry with me. This confused me. Unquote. Young lady, what I want to tell you, young lady, is that you were not confused. The reason that you did not want to sing the SGI Hero Worship Song Sensei because the song Sensei is a cut hero worship song. I began to practice Buddhism in 1974, 41 years ago, before most of the people who practice with the SGI in America today was born. I was practicing Buddhism and I lived to see SGI President Dasaki Kato get rid of all the black leaders and I saw the SGI build an organization of hero worship. They got rid of the strong African-American males and they brought weak-minded people. When I practiced Buddhism years ago with the SGI and I practiced with them for almost 20 years, I too had a problem with the hero worship song sensei. Let's take this thing further. The SGI brainwashing tool is to get its members to submit to engaging into the SGI mind or brainwashing ritual by having you subordinate your body, mind, and spirit to conformity. The song suggests subjects you to or subjects your body, mind, and spirit to subordination, domination, and brainwashing. That song is a brainwashing tool. 
It is the way to brainwashing tool that the SGI used to brainwash its members. So young lady, you and Charlie Allen Lawrence, you were right and to feel funny about singing the song. The only thing that saved me was my Afrocentric background. Because when I was an SGI member, I came out of the human rights struggle when black people were fighting for their rights. And I read a book called Malcolm X on Afro-American History. And it was Malcolm X who wrote in the book that the Buddha Shakyamuni was a man of African descent. And it was Dasaki Kato who wrote in the book called the Living Buddha that the Buddha was a man of Aryan descent. And because of leaders like Malcolm X who pointed me in the right direction, I was not misled like many of the young SGI members, particularly the African Americans who are led on a course without any direction. They are led on a course of Buddhism where the SGI, Nichiren Shoshu, Nichiren Shu, and all of these sets have extricated all of the black history out of the Buddhist teachings. But not only do they or have they extricated all of the black history out of the Buddhist teachings, what they do is they engage in a brainwashing ritual. The song SGI is brainwashing. Now, let's look at what Nichiren Shonen says about words. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot just say a word. You have to understand the words you are saying. You are saying gongyo and you're chanting and you're doing these practices and you don't know what you are saying. You are saying things that run counter to your well-being. In the Go Show, it's called the Go Show Tripitaka Master Sha Wu Wee reads, quote, and this is what Nichiren says, the Buddhist doctrines preached by scholars these days are regarded by most people as gentle words, truthful words, but in fact, they are all harsh words and deceptive words. I say this because they are at variance with the Lotus Sutra, which embodies the Buddha's true intentions. Ladies and gentlemen, the song Sensei, or Forever Sensei, is in variance with the Lotus Sutra. This song goes against the Buddha's teachings. The song Sensei, ladies and gentlemen, it is a song that clearly makes SGI leader Daisaki Kena a demigod. It is a song about hero worshiping and making the man a god. When you sing this song forever, Sensei, you, most people don't know what they're saying. They engage in a song and they making the man a god. Ladies and gentlemen, you must understand that words are very powerful. Words can affect your body, mind, and spirit. And what they are saying in the song affects your spirit. Now, I want you to listen to an African-American woman. And this African-American woman is obviously very dedicated. She don't know what she is saying. She puts her heart and soul into the song Sensei. But the woman doesn't know what she's saying because she puts trust in Dasaki Kato, not realizing that she is engaging in a cult practice. Let's listen to this SGI young woman who beautifully sings the song Sensei. But as Nitrin Chonin says, the words are deceptive. Let's listen to this young woman. 
Hello. Um, so I've decided to sing Forever Sensei since it's everybody in the SGI's favorite song. Uh, we sing it all the time. So I uh, just figure I'll sing it again and put it on YouTube. -y. I don't really pronounce it YouTube, -y, by the way. Anyway. Morning sun shining bright La 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 Facing the sky Spirits are high Gong your fills our hearts with joy Arm in arm Together we climb Sun is breaking through Sensei our lives are growing Sensei our tears are flowing As shining eyes call to you The first thing ladies and gentlemen that you must understand that in the Japanese culture the word Sensei means master now sometimes it's used as teacher or a mentor, but the word means master. What has happened or what the SGI has done is they have carefully and manipulatively made or gave African Americans another master. Just like when our ancestors was in slavery, you had a master. Now you get a Japanese leader in Japan and you are singing a song because when you call him sensei, you are calling him master. Now, listen what this young lady just said. She just said, she says, shining eyes call to you. Does this woman know what she's saying? She's looking at this man and saying, I got shining eyes calling to you. The sun is shining because of you and my eyes are shining and I am looking up to you. Because what she has done, Nitra, and Shaka what it says in the Nirvana Sutra, he says, put faith in the law and not persons. When you put your faith in Daisaki Kena, and when you say shining eyes, what? Call to you. You are not calling up on the Gohanzan. You are not calling up on the Lotus Sutra. But you are calling up on Daisaki Kena. Now, let's listen to the young lady. Say some more. Because at the end, what she says this young lady used a word called Zion Dikai. And you got people singing a song and don't know what the hell Zion Dikai means. But let's listen to her say this. Moonlight smiling in the night. La 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 la. Tomorrow's dreams. Calling to all Zadankai Zandikai is a word. Zandikai means more than a discussion meeting. When you join the SGI, what you are committing to when you say Zandikai is that you are going to go get other people and you are going to bring in them into this level of Akeda consciousness. It means that you have a consciousness. It is a, it is a way to develop or shape your spirit. That's what Zion Kai means. It is a socialization. It is a way to bring other people into the SGI fold. It was first president Sotosaburo Makaguchi and he came up the world with the Kai. It is a it is designed to bring you to a level of consciousness. Domestically the SGI is condemned even in Japan 
as a self-righteous cult. Ladies and gentlemen, this SGI song is some serious stuff. The SGI song, Sensei, is designed to rob you of your self-identity and individuality. The song, Sensei, is designed to bring you into the Daisaki Keda consciousness. The Daisaku Ikeda consciousness is the process of making Daisaki Ikeda a demigod. SGI members are bombarded with the Ikeda, 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 Ikeda books, Ikeda this, the human revolution. Everything is Ikeda, Ikeda, Ikeda. I want you to look at this picture of Daisaki Ikeda. Dasaki Kena had a stature of himself meaning as a God. Now, let me explain to you what happens to you when you join the SGI cult. Now, how many of you are familiar with the, with the fabulous series of Star Trek? In Star Trek, there are a group of menacing superhuman or sign, what is it, scientific kind of guys uh, called the Borg. The Borg is some super bad dudes who you do not want to mess with. They are Borgs. When you join the SGI, the SGI turn you into a Borg, ladies and gentlemen. The Borg in, in Star Trek is a race that manifests as a collection of species that have turned into cybernetic organisms, function as drones, a hive mind, a collective or a hive. The Borg use a process called assimilation to force other species into the fold. The SGI use the same brainwashing tactics as the Borg. They get you into this organization and they assimilate you to where you do not know your culture, you do not know your history, you do not know who, where you are from. All you know is that you move like a bumblebee. You move like a bird who is migrating, you are in a fold. This is what the SGI is teaching. When you sing Sensei, you are a part of the Akeda consciousness. The SGI operate like a behind. When you look at the behind, where everyone's mind is converted to work and live for the operation and function of the hide, members become brainless workers where everyone is saying, Sensei, Sensei, Sensei. That's why you end the meetings singing the song, Sensei. When you see a school of fish, ladies and gentlemen, the fish move in a colony because what the SGI do is they break down your individuality and you become like a school of fish or you become like the wildebeest who all move together collectively because what the SGI do is that they rob you of your individuality. They rob your spirit. They are like the Borg. They come in with all these beautiful words like, um, what is it, what's the word? Uh, individual, world peace through individual happiness. And you get all these fancy words and you get all of these fancy things but all these things are dedicated only to make you follow sensei. So, young lady, those of you who are in the SGI, all you got to do is look around. When we were part of the SGI, look at the pictures. They made all of us wear the same clothes. They made all of us look alike. We were like one people. They took away our identity. They took away our culture. They took away our history. And they made us 
and Akeda clone. They made us worship God, Saki Kata. That's why I left the SGI, and I'm telling those of you who sing the SGI song, morning sunshine, bright, la 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 la, facing the sky, spirits are high, Zadika Eve. You are being a caterized. Have a good day. My name is Anthony F. Elmore. I'm President of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association, and there is something better than the SGI Nitrin Shoshu and Nitrin Shu that extricates all your black culture and history. There's something better called the Lola Sutra and the true teachings of the Buddha. Come join with us. Thank you very much. Hey.